in this demo, I will show you how to integrate SonarCube in one of your projects to get code quality reports. First of all, we need to install the SonarCube plugin. So we go to available plugins, we type SonarCube, install the SonarCube scanner for Jenkins. And while this is installing, let's generate a token. So here in the administrator, I go to my account, security, and I'm going to create a new Jenkins token. Ideally, you should create a new account and then you can create a token for that new account. I'm just doing it now using the administrator. This is the token that we are going to need. Let's go to manage Jenkins, global tool configuration. And now we have Sonar Cube here. So we're going to add a Sonar Cube scanner. We're just going to call it Sonar. I'm going to install it automatically. Press save. And now that we have the credential, we're going to create a new credential. It's going to be secret text. This is going to be our secret from Sonar Cube. Call it Sonar and description Sonar. Then create a new item, Sonar Cube. It's going to be a pipeline project. I'm going to add again a pipeline for my GitHub repository. And this time it's Sonar Cube slash Jenkins file. Press save. And let's have a look at this file. This file is going to define a container. It's going to pull a container, the Gradle container with JDK 8. It's going to fetch the GS Gradle repository. So then this repository will be, download, will be downloaded in the workspace. It's going to build it just like one of the previous demos. It's going to just build it using Gradle. And then this is new, Sonar Scanner. So we're going to first say our Sonar Scanner home is a tool. And using this tool keyword, it's going to put a path in this variable that is configured by this Sonar plugin. So you have the Sonar plugin and the Sonar plugin has a property Sonar Runner Installation. And this installation is called Sonar because when we went to tool configuration, we created a new tool. We created a new installation called Sonar. So here now we will have the path in Jenkins. Then we're going to say, I want to use the credentials with credential ID Sonar. This is the one that we just created. And I want to put it in the, in the variable Sonar login. Then I'm going to execute the Sonar scanner using the host Sonar Cube port 9000. This is the name of the service in the Docker Compose file. We can reach it like that over port 9000. Using as a login my API key, I'm going to give it a name, a project name. Project version is going to be the build number. Project key is just a shorter version of the project name. I'm going to say my sources are in complete SRC main and my tests are in complete SRC test. And the language that I want to interpret is Java. So let's execute that. I'm going to press build now. And now it is going to clone this repository, build the Java files, and then it's going to send to Sonar Cube result. So build has been successful and now Sonar Cube is running. So you also see right here that the login is masked, the credential is masked, so you don't see it as a developer anymore. Execution success. Let's go to Sonar Cube, and here you can see GS Gradle version one. There are no bugs, no vulnerabilities, but I have some code smells. And it should, it should take me 50 minutes to fix those. So here now are some recommendations of what I could do. SonarCube is a great tool 
it can support a lot of languages. It also has a lot of plugins for other languages that are not included. Java is included by default, some other languages are not. This also takes a lot of time to configure properly. You just have to go to the SonarCube documentation, read about your language, read about the parameters, read about how you can configure it. But it's really worth it because it can scan for vulnerabilities, for bugs, it can just check on your code quality on an ongoing basis. And then you developers can then see after they did commits, if they need to change some code to make it of a higher quality. This is it for SonarCube. You can find the files that you need for SonarCube to test it out yourself on my GitHub repository in SonarCube and also in the Docker Compose directory. Here you find the Docker Compose YAML file.